I'm out at the uh, German Royal Band Distillery, and I want to talk about the individual bottlings of the DSP CA 162 vodkas. We uh, 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 this totally clear vodka is what we call straight vodka, and it's based on uh, vodka distilled from wheat, and then we distill a vodka from aromatic grapes. Uh, mostly Viognier, sometimes some Riesling, uh, a couple of other varietals, and we bring that, we have, we have those grapes vinified, and then we bring it up to about 27% alcohol, uh, alcohol by first distillation on the Germain Robin cognac still, mm -hmm. then we move it over to the Holstein. The cognac still can't take things, you know, feasibly, they can do it, but it, it takes, you know, seven or eight distillations to getting it to be uh, actual vodka made from, say, Viognier grapes, that, that requires a Holstein still, which is a combination pot and column still. And so we take it from the 27%, 28% that we get from the Germain Robin still up to uh, uh, the 95% that is required to be so we can call it vodka. Then we blend that into the wheat vodka. And the net result of that is that you get a vodka that has none of that sort of like rubbing alcohol, doctor's office, uh, you know, where you put your thermometers in the doctor's office, none of that, the, the, that sort of unpleasant um, uh, ethyl alcohol, um, alcohol disappears and you get, this is incredibly smooth, incredibly easy to drink. You can actually take that and pour it in a glass and just enjoy it straight up. All right, the other three are Citrus vodkas, based on fruit that we get from this wonderful guy, John Fitzgerald, uh, down in the Central Valley, who uh, has this uh, sort of exotic fruit orchard. And um, these are all citrus-based. Citrus is, uh, lends itself to this kind of, of production. It's, it's acid, which means that they, these, these vodkas have structure. But, um, and we put the Latin name on the Citrus reticulata. That's the Latin name for, this, you know, for, the, uh, uh, for tangerines. Um, and we're using sunshine tangerines with a little bit. We also blended in some uh, tangelos, and I believe we had a, little, a few uh, mineola tangerines in there too. But the way this is made is you sort of take the, the fruit and you um, macerate it in a solution of the vodka, and it picks up a lot of flavor and then you blend, it's very intense, and then you blend a little bit of that into the straight vodka, and you get, um, this is tangerine-flavored vodka. Beautiful stuff. It, it is a lot like if you took your finger and stuck it into a tangerine peel and held it up to your nose. That's how it smells and tastes. And when I say intense, you're looking right here at an infusion being prepared for blending into one of these things, and you can see how dark-colored it gets after... Uh, uh, you know, from citrus fruit being steeped in uh, alcohol for a long period of time. Plus, there's a little secret ingredient in here that we won't talk about that we blend in tiny percentage. All right, the uh, citrus hystrix is a um, um, it's a lime from Malaysia, um, uh, Limau Perut, and if you've eaten Thai food, you've seen the leaves and um, in the soups and in some of the uh, curries. Um, we use not just the fruit itself, but the leaves. The leaves add, lime is really tough because it's always an inch away from tasting like a lifesaver. I mean, you know, not everybody knows that rhyme, you know, Rose's lime juice, which to me is sort of a not very an interesting product. That's actually made from limes, it's just they haven't figured out a way to not make it taste like, uh, or smell like uh, lifesaver lime, from artificial lime, from shaving lotion. From, and uh, that's why we use the leaves. The leaves have this body and depth of lime flavor that uh, just transform the vodka into something really special. And then my favorite is Citrus Medica variety, Sarcodactylus. That means finger-bodied. Um, this is from, made from a rare fruit from uh, Asia called uh, the Buddha's hand citron. And if you've ever seen a picture of it, it looks like a I say like a carrot on acid, right? It's got this body and it's got these little fingers uh, stretching down, which means it has a lot of peel, which gives it a lot of flavor, and then it has no juice. The inside of the, uh, of the fruit is just nothing but pith. This is this white, you know, um, 
uh, like the inside rind of, of other citrus fruits, except it goes all the way through, which means you get all the citric flavor without, the juice tends to be heavily acid and very difficult to uh, macerate and, and distill. And it's a problem we don't have. This is subtle, delicate, and just beautifully aromatic.